Hi, I'm Julia. Welcome to Julia Lives. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the 900 North Michigan shops. This footage was taken on a rainy Wednesday morning just as the 900 North Michigan shops were opening. So there are people here, but they're mainly sitting down drinking coffee. You'll see people a little bit walking around, but there are quite a bit of people in the mall already. This is a great place to come if it is raining because you have seven floors of shopping without all the walking. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm in Chicago, and I've walked four or five blocks and I've been in and out and in and out of stores, I get a little tired. So if you're looking to slow the pace down a little bit, this would be a good place to come. The Four Seasons is attached to the mall, so it's just an elevator right away. You are at the north end of the Magnificent Mile, so about two blocks from Lake Michigan and the beach. That would be about a 10 minute block walk away from this area. If you wanted to go to Millennium Park, that's all the way down the other end of the Magnificent Mile. So you're at almost the opposite end from Millennium Park and the Bean and all that good stuff. Bloomingdale's is the anchor store for the 900 North Michigan shops. This one runs seven stories. It goes all the way up to the top. So if you like Bloomingdale's, you may want to hit this one up. I'll give you the grand tour level by level, but if you're visiting, you might find it beneficial to take a look at the map of the shops here. I found that they are organized well in terms of stores that make sense near one another. So here you'll find Club Monaco on the left and right next door to it is a men's shirt store, dress shirt or casual shirts called Tuck It. They're very similar in terms of the quality, the merchandise and the price point. As you go up though, each level does seem to change a bit. The seventh floor is mainly kids type of things, strollers, toys, things like that. Uh, but they also too have a really nice food court here. It's a, what would be called a luxe food court called Astor Hall and we'll see that in a minute too.
I always appreciate it when you hit that like button and subscribe to Julia Lives. These graphics that you keep seeing are on the ceilings. I just thought I'd take a little bit of footage because they were so cute. They change with every level. So you might have little kids with you who are mesmerized. Here is the menu for Astor Hall. So you just pick whatever you want, whichever type of food you want. And then when you're done ordering, you'll get a notification that your order is ready on your phone and you just go right over there. So there's no long lines to wait in. It's really easy to access food and drinks here if you wanna come and have a lunch while you're out and about shopping. And again, here we go on the fifth floor and I'll take you all the way up to the seventh floor.